Hey, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Payday 3 which has been dropped recently. A lot of you guys have been requesting to make a video on this. So here I am back again on this video, so make sure to leave your specs down in the comments below. With all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is identifying your compatibility settings and for that I would recommend you guys to open up Steam. Now once you are in Steam, right click on Payday 3, simply go to manage and then click on browse local files. Now once you are in the directory, you need to find your game, right click on that, go to show more options, then click on properties, go to compatibility, click on disable full screen optimizations, click on change high DPI settings and then override the DPI scaling behavior. Then click on OK, click on Apply and close this thing. Also open up Payday 3, then go to Binaries, Win64, you will find Payday 3 Client Win64 Shipping.exe, right click, go to Properties, go to Compatibility, do the same thing over here as well. Simply click on Apply and then close it. Now you need to copy this thing because you're gonna need it later. Next step is essential windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your windows. Then click on gaming and then go to xbox game bar and then make sure that this is disabled. Disabling xbox game bar will reduce your memory usage ultimately giving you better competitive experience as well as better performance while you're playing the games. Now go back to gaming, go to game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on. This will help your PC to optimize your games by turning things off in the background allowing you to save a lot more memory. Right beneath that, click on graphics and then click on change default graphics and enable both of these options since they are responsible for utilizing your graphic card to the maximum potential as well as reducing your input latency. Now go back to graphics and then click on browse button and over here you need to paste this file and then add payday 3 client of win64 shipping and then go to options click on high performance and save it. Now click on browse once again go back to payday 3 add the payday 3 client.exe click on add go to options and then select high performance once again. Now once all of this is done you can simply close your settings and let's move to the step number 3 that is clearing your prefetch and for that you need to press windows and r key together and then search for prefetch press enter click on continue and then Control a and shift delete everything to permanently get rid of prefetch clearing so will help you to improve your pc's performance and i would recommend you guys to do it every now and then now to fix all of your network issues in payday 3 i would recommend you guys to use exit lag you can find the link to download this software in the description below you can simply come to this website click on start now create a free account and without using any credit cards you can simply download this app up once you open this up it should look like this now over here you will find a list of over 1000 games to choose from you can simply look for payday 3 over here then you click the nearest region to you for me it is singapore 01 and then as you guys can see it will give me an estimated 57 ping you can simply click on apply routes and then payday 3 will be added to your resets now go to the tools section click on fps boost and enable the first third fourth fifth third last and last option and that will help you to get better performance and boost your fps drastically now exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it and you can always pick a plan if that helps you out there are monthly, semi-annual and annual plan and, and if you click the link in the description below and get a subscription plan, you can get flat 10% off on any of the first purchase. So make sure to choose it wisely. Next step is creating a restore point and this is really really essential. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, then select local disk C, click on configure and then make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on create and name it payday3 just to remember it and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because you can restore your PC in case anything goes wrong without any damage to your system. Now you can simply close system properties and let's move to the next step. Next step is Payday 3 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download and open this thing up. If you're facing any issues downloading this pack, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now once you are here, you can open the first folder that is the CPU priority. There I have left you AMD and Intel. Now according to your processor, you can choose the one over here. 
Now I use an AMD processor so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. If you use the Intel CPU you can use the Intel CPU priority. And I would recommend you guys to run this registry that is the increased power efficiency to make sure that your PC is running on the right efficiency. Second folder is the RAM optimization and I have left a ton of presets over here. I use 32 GB RAM but if you're using any different ones I have left a lot of presets over here to pick from. You can always select one of them and if you don't like it you can always reset it to default. Default. Third one is the Windows optimizations where I have left you some of these registries. Now you need to run all of them to disable downloading maps manager, disable extra unnecessary services, disable transparency as well as optimize all Windows settings. All of them will help your PC to get better performance. Also if you don't like it I have also left a reset to default just in case you want it. Lastly is the game optimization and here is the complicated part. First thing is the config settings you need to open this thing up and then you need to copy this file location over here. Simply copy this, press Windows and R key together and paste this over here. Simply click on OK. Now that will open up this folder. Now go to saved, go to configs, go to Windows client and here you will find engine.ini. You need to right click, open with notepad and then once you are here, go to config settings and then copy all of this, control C it. Come to engine.ini and then right here press enter two times and then paste this. Simply press ctrl and s together and then close the engine.ini as well. Next is the page 3 launch options. You need to open this thing up. Copy this string over here that is dx12. Since dx12 gives you better FPS in the game, right click on your game, go to properties and in the launch option you need to paste this line over here. And now let's move to the next step. Next step is system configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC and then once it opens up go to boot click on advanced options click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your pc now you need to simply click on ok click on apply click on ok and exit without restart lastly is the best in game settings and for that open up page 3 and follow the best in game settings Okay, now once you are in your game, you need to go over to the more section, then click on settings, go over to the video section and make sure that you're always playing on full screen mode on your native resolution. Also, make sure that your frame rate limit is set to unlimited and your VSync is turned off. Field of view, set it to somewhere between 75 or 80. That will give you the best FOV. For brightness, contrast and gamma, it's a personal preference. According to your monitor, you can set this thing. Motion blur, keep it off. Depth of field, keep it off. Anti-aliasing, go with performance nvidia dlss super resolution you can go with off then for view distance keep it high shadows low post processing low textures medium effects medium foliage low and that should be good to go so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down, down below it really helps me out growing the channel see you all in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out